270 pages. Hello everyone, hopefully today a quick one. I'm going to show you a book that I purchased a while back, I mean a few weeks I think now at this stage. Um, book Depository had it on their website, they were closing, they closed on the 26th of April, so I did get this book because I really want it, although I don't knit shawls, I, as you may notice on my channel, most of the socks, and I do have review for the 52 weeks of um, socks. Have I knitted any of those? No, not yet. I'm just wondering, can I knit actually and give it on the channel? Because I knit socks now for people and give it on the channel. That's why I'm designing my pattern. So I'm clear from perspective of like, you know, anything that <clears throat> may not be appropriate. This book has been published a while back and I was trying to uh, get some information about it and it wasn't that easy so I'm trying to put all the information that I find in interesting uh, over here on the video and also down uh, on the link down below. So first things first, the name of the book is slight, slightly different. Uh, they changed the 52 weeks of scarves and it was shawls if you have checked um, and you're wondering what I'm hanging I'm having in my hand. So 52 weeks of socks in 2021 first published shawls and then it was renamed to this um, because I believe there's more scarves than actual shawls. So we have over here shawls, wraps, collars and cowls. So I put some effort uh, on down below in the link and hopefully on the screen if I'll have a time editing you will have a name, uh, the person who designed it. So please uh, be, um, please forgive me if I misspell something. Then we have number of stitches that you need to knit a shawl that's recommended and it's information do you need it in the pattern, in the garter stitch or stockinette stitch. Maybe I will, won't say anything. Um, if it's stuck that stitch. So I said 19 stitches per set and that's that. Then you have what kind of yarn was used and then you have what kind of needles were uh, needed for the shawl because sometimes they use only one and sometimes they need even two or three. I think maybe only two max. And then most patterns are only one size but there are a few and I will write down if it's two sizes or one size. So hopefully it will be on the bottom of the screen over here. And also what I was interested in and was hard for me to do when I was just writing it down on a piece of paper was what kind of structure the whole shawl is. And I know the naming of the pattern, so I will try to do, take us small uh, pictures of the drawing here because it is in the book and um, place it somewhere on the side maybe so you will know what kind of construction it is because I will be showing you photos of each pattern over here but the photos are as beautiful as they can be but they're not so they're not clear are you looking at the shawl are you looking at the scarf are you looking yeah <laughs> and a blanket the source I'm going to link to Original Lane magazine and I think they don't have a soft cover because I paid less than 20 euro for it but I know that the hard cover comes approximately over 40 euro or something like that so I both my books that I rec recommend you to watch 52 weeks of socks they're soft cover and I really like it. Both books are the same kind of construction from perspective of they give you they divide the book to content but oh yeah over here the content so you can see the spelling properly if you want to pause over here uh, if i misspell something and they divide it to some sections like this so i'm going to show you the photos i'm going to link timestamp on the actual uh, bulk and then uh, um, you can kind of skip through if you're you're looking for something so what is missing over here i personally in both books maybe you would sacrifice beautiful photos I would sacrifice this photo and this photo to like a small samples of the uh, pictures that we have of each pattern because let's say I have something in mind and I don't know exactly how it's named. The names are beautiful but they're difficult and to find by this I would not have a clue. I would have to browse it through which for me is a little bit you know time consuming and I would prefer the version that I could kind of see the photo and the and the page, photo and the page, photo and the page. So that way I would have a glimpse, oh yeah, this one I'm talking about, which one do you like? You know, some kind of way instead of going through the whole thing. Yeah, that's my suggestion. Um, that would really help me. <laughs> okay, let's start. One to 13.
14 to 26. Twenty-seven, third, thirty-nine. to 52. Here is a pattern. Uh, one is a crochet version, another one is an active version. So actually you have 52, 53, not 52 patterns. fast pause if you need to I'll put a link down below to the lane magazine website then you have a photo and you have some information about each pattern I would recommend you to go and check they have more of uh, these kind of books and as you can see some of the patterns are released unreverently will I ever knit anything of this I wish I will um, I would love to Tell you more about the other books i don't own them so i own this one i own on the screen the 52 weeks of socks and i also only own one magazine that i bought as a kind of souvenir when we were in the edinburgh yarn festival over here uh this one i've knitted already a hat from it so check that out there are more photos over here um but obviously i don't want to spoil everything from you it is uh, created that um on the first page you have a photo most of the time then you have information about the the pattern and then you you're flipping through actual a pattern per set maybe over here Stephen West's pattern split on the two I just showed you a one that it's you would not you would not say right so you need to kind of you just need to get it it's just beautiful it's just having those two is just like browsing through and just enjoying the knit where what you can actually make and create, how talented people are. So big um, contribution to all the designers who actually put the pattern patterns into uh, this lot of work done by a person who actually collected it and put it in beautiful and stunning photos. On the back you have also a uh, few, like I said, my version is this one. Uh, the hard, co hard cover might be slightly different, um, different photo on the front. Um, and I think the front one is. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will not answer per se what in regards to the patterns or understanding of it. Uh, you need to go to, I'm not sure, should I go to designer or should I go to a line, line magazine if something is over here. Um, I hope you love the element of the information about the gauge yarn and the photo because probably the editing of this video took me ages so thumbs up subscribe if you want to and i hope to see you in the next one bye